So next up, race four, the Grow Wise Novice G1 Chase. Unfortunately, there's a couple of the Unbound Rensburg horses in here for everybody else. So the three miles, one furlong. It's a great one event. Bomber in the pocket for the Unbound Rensburg. Definitely Parnell for Hems. Dobretz for Daniel French. Hope Springs Eternal for Joshua Sutherland when the Demon comes. Also for Joshua Sutherland to follow up from his win last week. Al Jafia. Oh, sorry. Al Jafia for Martin Lino. Malpy Cap, Darren Thompson. Kentucky Fry for the Unbound Rensburg. Pombau for Darren Thompson. And Tavernar for Davy Lab. Makes up ten to go over three miles and a furlong here. Punches down. The rain's finally stopped, the sun's come out, the start has got them away. They're racing. So they approach the first of the 16 fences they have to take. Go through the first furlong, and it's out your fire that leaves the leaders, but uh, a reluctant leader. No one wants to really take this on. But definitely Parnell. And hold up horses here. And it's definitely Parnell that's just going to. Lead them over the first, they all take it well. Big large jump at the back by Taverna. They're all within four or five lengths, and it's definitely Parnell that finally takes everybody along as they approach the second. It's going to be definitely Parnell on the wall of horses. The widest of all of those is Dobretz. Into the second. A poor jump there by Pombell went through the top of it. Lucky to keep his jockey in the plate. But it's definitely Parnell from when the demon comes. There you one, two out wide is Dobretz. Got Hope Springs and Terminal as they stream over the third. How do you fire in the orange silks up against the fence? Bomber in the pocket uh, being pushed through further wide is Kentucky Fried now along with Tabana. Inside of that is Alpi Cat. Just at the rear is Pombau. The two and a half miles still to go. It's definitely Parnell that leads us. One length and a half now to hold your fire, just moves into second from when the demon comes and dob Brett's. Hope Springs Eternal to go to the big fourth. Everybody's over it, another big jump of the Brit by Taverner. There's definitely Parnell from now your fire. There you one, two on their own at the moment. From when the demon comes, he's moved over and towards the rail now. He gets this big ditch, the fifth. Everybody's over it, slow jump in the rear by Kentucky Fried. Never fear though. The old Van Rensburg horses are in the rear. They tend to be up the front at the business end of the race. It's definitely Parnell that still leads us. We come alongside the grandstand now. Now your fire and when the demon comes, hope springs eternal. Out you count on the inside on the wide outside there's Pombau. We've got Tavner and Dobretz. And the Van Rensburg horses bomber in the pocket and Kentucky fried. We go over the six. To that reasonably well, still definitely Parnell. Just drop downhill now, approach the finishing line the next time round. It's definitely Parnell by about three to our Jafar. Yeah, outside is when the demon comes, a shot from the grandstand here. Long, long way away, the finishing line in this race from the crowd. Definitely Parnell's going to lead them on out for a further circuit. Fences to take. We go to the seventh. We take that pretty particularly well. So it's definitely Parnell by about five or six. Back to when the demon comes and Dob Brett. Now Jafar is still on the inside. Pombell on the outside. And Tavernar Hope Springs Eternal. Alpie Cap. Bomber in the pocket. Kentucky Fried. As we get to the eighth, the leader takes it well. Or a poor jump there by Dob Brett. Shuffles himself back towards the mid pack. Definitely Parnell's lead. Uh, it's been shortened slightly by Pombau now. The demon comes in, Dobretz is still there. How do you fire along the rail? Is having a little bit of a rest. One of the rear now is Hope Springs Eternal. Definitely Parnell. A little bit of a hold there, a bit of a rest with a mile and a quarter still to go. We get to the 10th, a small ditch. We'll take oh, we lost one. Kentucky Fried slipped his jockey. Lucky there to Leon. We've still got Bomber in the pocket in here. So it's still definitely Parnell by just four now to Dobretz, who's moved into second. Pombau, Al Jafar still running well on the inside. And the length back to Alpi Cap, and the demon comes up against the fence. Out wider is Tavner, one more in the pocket, and just at the rear is Hope Springs Eternal. So we're finally coming down to the final mile, and it's definitely Parnell that still leads us over the 11th. They'll take it well, so he jumps at the rear again by Tavner, but it's definitely Parnell being joined uh, just by a length now to Dobretz, although Dobretz takes another hold. 
And Malau is definitely Parnell to keep his advantage, so it's definitely Parnell. Dobrets, Alger Fire. Bomber in the pockets made up some good ground. Pombau and the Demon Guns, they all got over the 12th, so we just fought to jump. It's still definitely Parnell. Def Dobrets and Alger Fire look like they're ready to challenge. Bomber in the pockets moved into position. When the Demon Guns is still on the inside as they go over the 13th, that's four from home, so it's just three to jump. It's definitely Parnell joined by Dobrets now on the outside. Is Bomber in the pocket? Alger Fire up against the fence when the Demon Guns comes, making a move now is Pombau, but it's still Dobret, Bomber in the pocket and definitely Parnell as they swing right handed inside the final six, Pombau's moved up onto the outside now going the long way round, but it's Bomber in the pocket and Dobret so take it up now, as definitely Parnell starts to give way, so it's Bomber in the pocket, Dom, Dobret, Pombau, Alger fire as they go to the 14th, and we lost one there, definitely Parnell's gone, our long time leader, so it's Dobret that just noses in front of Bomber in the pocket, Bomber in the pocket asks for a little bit more and starts to make... Uh, way to home and it's Bomber in the pocket over the 15th of penultimate takes it well so it's Bomber in the pocket and Dobretz these are a length away from Hope Springs Eternal on the wide outside I'm not sure anything else is going to get into this as they swing right handed with three furlongs to go it's Bomber in the pocket leads by two from Dobretz Hope Springs Eternal is about a further three behind but it's Bomber in the pocket by a couple of lengths to Dobretz Alger fire up against the fence running on well but it's still Bomber in the pocket they've got a catch inside the final quarter mile there's only one to jump and it's Bomber in the pocket by about three to Dobretz and Alpicat trying to run on when the demon comes not with a win from there they go the 16th a slow jump by Bomber in the pocket has allowed Dobretz to bring alongside but as Bomber in the pocket got more left inside the final furlong it's Bomber in the pocket for just half a length to Dobretz when the demon comes trying to run him down but it's Bomber in the pocket inside the final half by a length advantage to Dobretz here he comes Bomber in the pocket Dobretz on the outside Bomber in the pocket Bomber in the pocket just holds on from Dobretz when the demon comes just couldn't get up in time so it's an, another great one win for Leon Van Rinsberg With Bomber in the pocket. Takes it just by a length to Dobretz when the Demon comes was third. Fourth looks like Pombau, I think. Now it was Alpicat that got up for fourth. So Bomber in the pocket, William Ren Rensburg takes the Grow Rides. Novice G1. Dobretz for Daniel French was second. Third was when the Demon comes for Josh. Alpicat for Darren Thompson was fourth. And Hope Springs Eternal for Joshua Southern was fifth.